you probably forgot about the unsung hero of Onigashima that Luffy allowed to be on the Thousand Sunny when they leave Wano. Let's acknowledge that with Sun God Nika's reveal, we had it finally confirmed that Devil Fruits and right now specifically Zoans contain a will. This will is enough to rationalize how the Nika fruit was able to evade the crusty old hands of the world government. Reasonably, the will of Nika is the one that awakened during Gear 5, and with it we know there's an overwhelming personality that is in conflict with the user. That is why the impelled down awakened zones were so derpy. Those were examples of people achieving some of the benefits of an awakening, but succumbing to the ultimate downfall of having a blunted or dull personality. That being said, we know of another Devil Fruit user that has been given insane importance by Luffy himself. For some reason, Caribou is one of the craziest recurring characters in the series. He has shown up at one of the most pivotal points in the raid on Onigashima. If he hadn't appeared with the food hidden in his swamp fruit, Luffy might not have been able to recover in time to aid Yamato against Kaido. Caribou had a month's worth of food, and keep in mind, Wano had a food shortage. But what I want to bring to your attention is what Caribou says. You better replace every last morsel, or I'm gonna have a problem. My swamp power is bottomless. She's a hungry gal. So doesn't that sound like Caribou's abnormal Logia power has a will, which the Gorose said was characteristic of a Zoan devil fruit? If you want to know more, check out the full theory video linked because most people don't remember that Caribou is even tied to the ancient weapon storyline, or recognize the importance Oda is placing on him, which is why 